Hey, hey, everybody. This is Larry. It's August 1st in 2021, uh, 22. Wow, I forgot the year for a second. That is actually very awkward. But anyway, uh, this is the extra bonus prom that I promised to do. And hope, I don't know how long I'm going to keep this up. Depends on how many people like this. If you do like this, uh, leave a comment below. If you watch it, give me some love, support, and maybe I'll keep doing it. And maybe one day I'll get premium so that I don't keep on running into these things. But uh, let's see what today's problem will be when I eventually unlock one. So yeah, hit the like button, and subscribe button, join me on Discord while we wait these things out. Mm, come on, yeah. There, there needs to be a thing where like maybe I is there. A, mm, yeah, maybe one day I just need to. Maybe I need to use another um, like another randomizer. This is kind of a little bit sad actually. Uh, maybe I've done. I don't. I thought that I haven't done enough problems, but maybe I've done enough problems that the ones I've left are all uh, not premium or something, or not many of them. But I saw a bunch of them. Anyway, okay. Today's problem is 767 reorganized string. Given a string S, we arrange the characters of S such that two adjacent characters are not the same. Any of them. Okay. I mean, this seems like one of those code forces ad hoc problem of. Um, you know, just trying things out um, or, of like, uh, you know, you stick with an algorithm and maybe there's an edge case or two, but but that's basically the idea. Um, okay, let's think about this, right? So, so yeah, um, so first of all, if N is 500, so you know that, you know, uh, some, even if you do something like lazy, like 500 square should be okay. Um, I think the thing that I'm going to do is by using a heap um, just for fun, but the way that I would do it is just greedy, right? Uh, and I'm trying to think about what's the best way to do this greedy. And the way that I would do greedy is just by using the most um, using the most common um, character that's not the top character, right? Meaning that, okay, we use A, and then when we use A, then we use the most um, leftover common uh, character that's not A, right? And then you do it with the next one and so forth. I think that should be okay. Um, I, I wonder if there are any tie-breaking things, but I think it should be okay. So yeah, so let's do that. Uh, see if you go to... Uh, S and then you have C dot um, items. Um, yeah, and then we could put in a heap, uh, which is well, it's a min heap. So we want a max heap. So yeah. So for K and oops, oops, keys, we want to um, we want to put. Let's see. What do we want to put? We want to put the key, but we also want the value. Uh, I guess this, I think this is, dang, I, I got to do that more often. Um, but here we want the max heap, so then we do negative V. And I think we are good here. Let's, mm, okay. And then now while length of heap is greater than zero, what do we do, right? So we do a pop. Well, we look at the top, um, yeah, we look at the top. So I guess the top is just a trip zero um, of the first character. Uh, hmm, let's just do it. Uh, top uh, value, top key, and then we want make sure the top value you know, is negative one. But yeah, if top key is equal to the last character, make sure that it's greater than anyway. Then we do it again. Um, then we. Mm, eh, how do we phrase this in terms of code? Yeah, then um, maybe we just pop it. Uh, yeah, if this is the case, then we want the second one, right? So top 2v, top 2k is equal to. Well, pop again, and of course we do this negative one again, just to keep the count. Um, the reason why I'm doing this is because in Python heap is min heap, and to make it a max heap, you know, I just do negative to convert the numbers. 
But yeah, let's okay. So then now we use one of these. So then we do, 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 do top two k, and then now top two we subtract one. But then now we have to push back. Um, top two v top two k, and of course we have to do this back to negative after we subtract the one, and of course we have to put um the original uh, top v and top k back. Okay. And then else, if, if if this is not true, then we just use the top. So here we uh, do, 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 do top k and then top v, we subtract one and then we do this other thing anyway. Um, yeah, and then, then that's it. We just have to collect up all the answers and I think we're good. Uh, oh, if it's not possible, I have to check the not possible case, but let's spin this out first. Uh, hmm, not readable. Oh. Yeah, let's see what happens. Maybe it's even like infinite loop. Actually, I expected an infinite loop, maybe. Is that true? Yeah, because, oh, I have to do some other stuff as well. Um, basically, for example, if top to V is not zero, because if it's zero, then don't put do it again. Um, I think this is enough. If top V is not equal to zero, even though that I mean, it, it's more of a safety thing, though. You can prove that that's not true. Um, that, or that cannot be true because we don't modify it. Um, okay, and then now it heaps our control. Um, and, uh, okay. So then that means that, okay, yeah, yeah. I was going to write a, another if statement for this, which is if length of heap is equal to one, that means that we ran out, then we return empty space. Um, otherwise, we could do, you know, because that means that we just cannot possibly do it. And because of the pigeonhole, you should always be able to get, it's either the top or the bottom, right? Or top one or top two, because one of them has to not be not equal to the top. Um, though that's it, this is wrong. So uh, let's see, right? Okay, well, the beauty is, hmm. If he is equal to one, huh? That's weird, actually. All right, let, let's see what it looks like every step of the way. And answer, and then maybe the heap. Yeah. Maybe there's a minor logical flaw here. So in the first iteration, a a pops, and then we have these two, and then we get a again. So we should get the b. Oh, because we popped it. We pop the h, so that means that this is, should be equal to zero. I kind of um, forgot that we popped it because I, I thought it was part of the logic. Okay, um, and I think it, these are going to be the weirdest case. Case we could do something like do, 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 maybe just in one more alphabet. Um, this one should be good. Though I don't know what it would look like with this algorithm. Maybe like a b. I think it's just a b c. Okay, fine. Uh, yeah, if there's any arrangement, let's give it a quick submit. Cool. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's a little bit slower, apparently, but... Uh, I, I mean, I think there's also... Um, there's probably a linear solution... But... I, or there's probably a less complex so solution that's n squared as well, just by, like, a sorting type thing, because... You can just, for here, you could just insert the next digit that is in this, um, maybe. Hmm. I don't know. But either way, this is good enough for me. Let me see what's the hint. Yeah, okay, well, that's basically what I did. But I uh, hmm, wonder why it's a little bit slow. Maybe I could have handled this a little bit better because I do a lot of pushes in here. But uh, by the way, so what's the complexity, right? Well, for each of the original character, we push it to here at most once, and then here for each character in the original one, we pop it once because we pop, you know, and then we, dec we decrement and then we pop again, right? So, and push again. So that means that each character originally is going to be pushed and pop twice or once for each. Um, and that means that for each character and this end of them, it's going to be log n time or lo actually log 26 times. So hmm, I thought it was going to be n log n, but actually it's going to be all of n log L a 
where A is the size of the alphabet, and that's just because this heap will can will obtain will contain at most twenty six um elements, right? Because one for each element of the alphabet. So, so this is actually pretty good uh, in terms of time. This is going to be linear. So yeah. Um. Oh, sorry. Space. I said time, but I meant space. Um. So yeah. Uh. Cool. That's pretty much all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Stay good. Stay healthy. Take good mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.